Pauline, can you do you mind like um, since Richard's joining us? Uh, and, and Jack is, is a, a, new, uh, a new friend of, of ours. Can you tell us a bit about the work that you're doing together? Why don't you take it away? Yeah, well, uh, I published a book about two years ago called The Enchanted Screen. Um, and it, it's the first book that attempted a, a social history of the fairy tale film. And it had a huge filmography that was actually cut down to just the director and the title and date. And, um, and uh, I wanted to do a follow-up because this book, even though it's huge, uh, it really didn't include all the things I wanted to include. Uh, but it cost me four years or five years of my life. Yes. And I was looking for some people whom I could sucker into the uh, helping <laughs> and join me. And there's one here on the right and one here on the yes. left. And uh, and there and, and Sydney will be contributing something to the book too. So it, it's going to be a, more a collaboration because it would be impossible for me to do a, a follow up to the book. I mean, I could if sure. I had ten years and so on. So we have a uh, publication date of um, uh, two, 2015. 2015. Right. So yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, were, we were originally interested in publishing like a, a filmography, like a massive like little uh, reference book right. for people yes. to in print form. But then when we realized that uh, there are there's just such a wealth out there that yeah. even as like um, obviously Jack speaks German and a number of other languages, but um, we just can't access or we don't necessarily know about. Yeah. Um, so obviously something like this is going to enable that kind of. Uh, well, it makes it dynamic. Fluidity. It makes it yeah 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 fluid exactly yeah. So this seems like a better medium for it. Well, I yes. think that the, uh, the, uh, it will be open to the public and uh, therefore people who are writing books uh, might read uh, books on fairy tale films or fantasy films or films related to fairy tales will find this most useful. I think that anybody in the world who loves fairy tale films, and that includes probably 90%, 99%, the 1% don't watch fairy tale films, uh, they, uh, they would find this very, very uh, important. Uh, they, they could check on a, a particular film, uh, um, uh, perhaps uh, through our filmography, uh, acquire a uh, DVD or uh, an old video or something like that to see the film. Uh, so there are many uses that the filmography can be put to use. It, it's not just simply a uh, filmography for scholars.